Irish celebrity bogies today with Channel 4 horse racing pundit John McCurry. Now, Dick, this is going to be a no contest bogey. Who is the fattest loudmouth here? I'm odds on. Back me. He cannot win. Dick, you're doomed in this bogey. The rules of the game are perfectly simple. All you've got to do is shout out bogeys, getting louder and louder and louder until one of us bottles out until the other isn't as loud as the other person. Back me, I'm a certainty, I'm a loudmouth! There's the bogeyometer to find out who's shouting it the loudest, so without further ado, off we go. Bogeys! So, place your bets for this third match of the Pro Celebrity Bogeys season. Bogeys. McCourt, 0.6. Your turn, John. Kronick. Bogies. Newcomer to the game, but he's fine with a 1.3. Tough one to beat, John. I think so. It's going to be very hard. Uh, Should be easy for McCourt, yes. Bogies. And, of course, it is. There's a 3.1. With a lovely little tail on the end. Bogies. McCrerick snacking on his own snot. Scores a 5.0. McCourt's impressed. Or is it just nerves? Bogies! Got to be worth a punt. It's 5.7. Not sure what that was. Bogies! Over the shoulder of the late Queen Mother. That's a 5.9. Support from McCourt. It's a 6.6. .6. Good one. <laughs> Drawing admiration from McCrerick. And that lady there. <laughs> now. Bogies! A crowd stunner from McCrerick, showing what a statesman of the game he's become. That's 6.7. Yours is a different style of bogey there, John. You're, you, you like to... Have a nice long bogey. No, 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 no. You, you don't make it too disgusting. But you know, you, you instead of what else you. Bogies! McCourt interrupts with a 7.7. .7. A surprise attack there. Oh, me, I can tell you. I, th I think you definitely win. That's the plan, John. That's now, plan. has McCrick conceded? No, he's going back up to the starting gate. It's a beauty from the People's Pundit, 8.2. Bogies! McCourt fights back 9.1, surely now in the final furlong. Beat that! McCurrick, all in purple. Bogies! There's one for the booby, 9.4. I'm going to do another one. Right, go on. It's going to be even louder than that Oh, one. no, I can't believe it. But I'm not going to do any of that. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and do right, right. None of that. Very good. Will this be a photo finish? Bogey! It's a monster bogey from McCourt. He romps home. That has definitely... Can't that. So the bogey's favourite wins by a snotty nose. Bogey! where we play it where other people dare not. And we're about to play it at Bournemouth University in a media studies lecture for all sweaty students. So we turn to one of this nation's great seats of learning, Bournemouth University, for Premier League bogeys. Some of the stuff's been excellent. Nearly half the year. Yeah. What? Yeah. what Very think? tentative. Um, 1.0. I've been able to squeeze you all in. Last three minutes of Utopia. This lecture, all about the utopian society or this perfect world, the, the boys sporting the relevant protective headwear. This Worked um, with only the tiniest degree of improvement. On the court's previous effort, just stays in the game with a 1.5. That and, um, and uh, the other stuff that's in the discussion area media too. Um, just don't give me bad plays. Oh, okay. yes. Sorry? Don't know, sir. Um, 2.7. Bad plays. You know, the term comes from John Stuart Mill, and it's actually his text on liberty. And they found out it has its origins in Jerry Bentham's Cacotopia, which means the worst. 
Um, Jerry Benson, of course, is famous for inventing what we're talking about. Jerry Benson, who will be the worst in this match? The Cacotopian. We're looking at that next term. Bogies. Wood with a 2.8. And I don't think this young lady would want wood in her utopia, or anywhere near it. Uh, and she argues that origins lie in one of the earliest texts, uh, the Bible. And Laura says, it's very interesting, and I didn't think about this actually, um, this is new time, it's perfect with the Garden of Eden. Surprisingly, Wood and McCourt didn't go to university, but they're here now. So, Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden. McCourt with 2.8 to beat. They lost the right to live in a utopia, Kind of interesting, actually. In Bogies. Look, if anyone has anything to say, can they say it? Sorry, sir. Thank you. 3.5. Food for thought. The Cold War. Now, the Cold War was in the sort of, I don't know, 60s, 50s, 60s, 70s, right to the 80s, really. Um, Dashing Balls wrote 1984. He didn't like that. He must respect his memory. Bogies. Oh, what a fantastic um, bogey. That's 4.8. First class. With honours. So, um, um, kind of pertinent. <laughs> and it seems to have unsettled McCourt. Has he done enough? And plenty of came up with that. Kelly Lamb, Joanna Morgan, the it doesn't appear that McCord has anything left. No, there it is. He's resigned. Just leave. I'm not doing it. Just leave. Bogies. There's the winner. Only a 4.8. There is a supermarket in Clanetley in Wales to play parent bogies. And today, it's Steve Bogies, who's been nominated by his sons, Jake. Bogies. And Ben. So, welcome to the supermarket where we will check out this amateur, Daddy, Daddy Steve, who feels he has what it takes. Bogies. And delivers a 1.8, a confident, firm start from this Welshman here in Clanelli. New ones. Bogies. But Wood is straight back in with a 2.1. That's his special offer. What can Daddy Steve return Bogies! by the shampoo it's a 3.2 absolutely superb start to this game has a real energy Bogies! Dom vibrant as ever with a 4.0 by the delicatessen Wales of course famous for its long bowmen and now for Daddy Steve, who is climbing the ladder to stardom in this game. That's a 5.1 by the fresh dairy products. The crowd can't believe that one of their own sons is showing this level of talent. Wood hits it with a 6.2, reduced to clear, and has cleared a way for himself to victory. Unless, of course, it's a 6.8. Fantastic. A lady there with a fiver on Dom. Shouting things out. The disappointment seeping out. Now. This man's love of show business knows no bounds. 8.4! And the crowd are loving every second of this fantastic match. Roast chicken. It's a rip-roaring 8.8. .8. Two fat ladies for Daddy Steve. Well pleased with that. The pressure. 45 pounds per square inch now. Don't let us down, Dom. Wood. Fighting for his honour. Superb. 9.8. On the dinner table. Ben protests he shouted it into a carrot, but it makes no odds, son. 9.8 stands, and it's all to do for Daddy Steve. Okay! 
Please. A valiant attempt, but only a 9.4. The crowd crestfallen at the end of this fantastic competition. And Daddy Steve now, as we can see, getting rather overexcited. Oh my goodness, he's going for it. Yes, it's all getting a little bit nasty. I think it's time we saw the winning bogey one last time. Welcome to the fabulous Mitchell Library here in Glasgow. And Wood starts us off with an almost inaudible bogey, 0.1. Bogeys. Clever response from McCourt, 0.2. Just enough. Wood. Bogeys. Hits it. It's a 0.3. Beautifully played. <clears throat> Bogies. McCourt raising the volume 1.1. 1 .1. Bogies. Wood straight back in with a 1.5. Very, very tight at this stage of the game. Small margins of increase. So 1.5 to beat from a court. Bogies. He's done it. That's a 1.8. So the pressure back on wood. Is the pressure starting to show? Bogeys. Nice bogey. 2.5. <laughs> Should be very pleased with that effort. So, a moment to compose themselves. We're caught now with 2.5 to beat. Bogies. It's there. It's a 3.5. Some surprise on the face of Wood. But McCourt, justifiably proud of his last effort. All around them, the Dewey Decimal System. And... Two million volumes approximately here at one of Europe's largest reference libraries, built in 1877 by a wealthy tobacco magnate. Now, the serious business in hand. Bogies! That was a brave bogey. It's a 4.2. And the crowd getting to their feet, delighted with the audacity of Wood's tactics there. And it seems McCourt has lost his bottle. Yes, he concedes and hands the match to Wood. What a marvellous victory. Let's see that winning bogey one more time. Bogies! Superb. Dominic Wood, three. Richard McCourt, two. Plenty of nautical naughtiness promised this morning. Bogies. And McCourt gets us off to a flying start with a 3.5 on the snotometer. Yachts of action promised here at the International Boat Show as McCourt tests the quality of the timber. And Wood Bogies. responds with a 4.6. <laughs> Comfortable margin. Would, of course, needing to claw a game back. As the competition stands at Richard McCourt 10, Dominic Bogies. Wood 7. There's McCourt in with a 4.8, which is <laughs> just enough to keep him in this game. Big. 
Big. Big. Bogies. Big bogey. That's a 5.2, taking us <laughs> over the halfway mark. Oops. Stormy waters ahead from a court. Bogies! It's a fine bogey. It's a 5.7. Wood <laughs> determined not to wave goodbye to this one. Bogies! It's a good bogey. It's a 6.0. Very cleverly played as the crowd stands in awe. Or by an awe. What's McCourt got? Bogies! He's got a beauty. It's a 7.5. Bogies! No hesitation from Wood. 7.6, only just keeping him in the game. <laughs> That's a fine result for Wood. I've got so much inside me today. But McCourt. Oh, watch out for that. Fighting talk. It's a pretty good one, isn't it? Eh? It's a pretty good one. Bogey! And that was a pretty good one. That's an 8.4. Oh, you've got to you you pelt it out now. He certainly has. That was a stroppy bogey for this. Bogey! Game, that's a 9.0. <laughs> and the customers and staff are not quite sure where this could be leading us. Ahoy. <laughs> nice little bit of tomfoolery there from McCourt. But the important issue. Bogey! Can he beat 9.0? Yes, he can. There's a 9.3. <laughs> really <laughs> belting up the bogey scale. Bogey! 9.3 to beat. He's done Bogey! it. It's a 9.5. But McCourt straight back in with a 9.6. Pipping him at the post. Can he come back? Are you chicken? No, he can't. Bogey! There's the winning bogey. Richard McCourt, 11. Dominic Wood, 7. So, as the grand final looms, McCourt bogey! extends his lead. Who is this man? <laughs> so, please remove your hats and turn off your mobile phones for this round bogey. of bogeys. And Wood gets us off with a 0.2. As the assembled audience watches their film on the silver screen. Bogies! McCourt responds with a 1.3. Slurps of fizzy pop and munches of popcorn accompanying this battle between these two giants of the game. Bogies! There's Wood. 2.0. Pleasing the audience. At least those <coughs> who don't really want to watch the film. Here comes McCourt. Bogey! Two to beat. Will he do it? Yes, he will. That's a 2.7. A majestic bogey. Ah, and somebody in the audience there. Uh, hope the officials aren't too put off by that. Nice to see the youngsters getting involved. <laughs> now, Wood. 2.7 to beat. There it is. And it's a 3.6. Yes, indeed. A round of applause there. Uh, Richie deserved. And there's a riposte. McCord back with another bogey. That's a 4.1. Splendid. Now the crowd really are having their imaginations captured by this battle. 5.0 from Ward. And McCord can't stand it. He's in there with a 5.6. He's battling the entire audience here. Everybody is playing bogeys. This surely is only good for the game. A few titters. Bogey! A scream from the bottom of his toes, resulting in a 6.8. And the audience lash back. Bogey! And McCourt showing them who's the daddy. 8.6. <laughs> what a splendid bogey. <laughs> and the crowd just can't help themselves. They're going bogey-tastic. Who won? It was McCourt. Surely, let's see the winning bogey. Oh, there's Wood. He's trying one more time. But no, it's not quite enough. It's only an 8.2. Bogeys! Go on, everybody. McCourt wins. Let's hear the winning bogey one more time. Bogeys! Oh.
<laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just catching some sun. Uh, we're here for the grand final of bogeys at Trafalgar Square in London. Yeah, the rules of the game are very, very simple. All you have to do is take it in turns to say the word bogeys, <sighs> starting off quietly and getting louder and louder and louder until one of us bottles out until one of us isn't as loud as the other. But for the final time, who's going to be shouting bogeys the loudest? There is the bogeyometer to find out who it's going to be. So without any further ado, should we climb a column and shout bogeys? Thank you, pardon. Let's do it. <laughs> Bogies. Is the name of this game, and 2.5 is the first score. Two go. Two go. Bogies. The court with 3.2. Here at Trafalgar Square, the scene of this year's grand final. Bogies. Both players very nervous. There's a 3.5 from Wood. One silly mistake at this stage, and the whole game and the competition could be lost. McCourt. Bogies! Beautifully played. That's a 3.9. <laughs> Here's work done. Taking photos. What are you taking photos for? Some of the crowd there making the most of the opportunity to. Snap, these fine athletes. Bogies. Ward with a 5.2. Nelson, up there in his column. Nelson. McCourt showing off his encyclopedic knowledge of Bogies. British public art and hitting a 6.2 on the snotometer. Much to the delight of the crowd, specially gathered here today for this grand final. Bogies. And they'll be in no way disappointed by that tremendous thrust from Ward 6.5. <laughs> Nervous giggling from McCourt. Please. And Ward goads him Please. with his ease. Tremendous. Really sense the Bogies. rivalry between these two. That's a 7.0. Has Ward met his Waterloo? The next right. few minutes will tell. Bogies! Oh, kiss me, Woody. 7.2 over the shoulder. And it's ample. Bogies! McCourt angrily growls out an 8.5. <laughs> A collection of Wood supporters there beginning to get the fear yeah, okay. as this game approaches its climax. Now, what does Wood have? in response. The atmosphere is electric. 8.7 with a little twirly bit on the end. And shock and awe tactics by Wood. Bogies! Eliciting a huge response from a court 8.9. Now, Wood, the gloves are off. And so are the shoes and socks as he gets into the water. For reasons best known to himself, what's he got? Uh, he's got a 9.1. The crowd are delighted. He's pleased. But he's paying the ultimate price now in terms of freezing cold feet. Right. Of course, Wood knows this means war. McCourt intending to. Fight to the last for this title. 9.1 to beat. Bogey! He's done it! It's a 9.2! A fantastic bogey! Under intense pressure. And the crowd are joining in. They're whipped up into a frenzy. Bogey! And Wood heads back, hitting a 9.3! But the crowd aren't taking it lying down. They get a 9.5! It's Dick and Dom versus the crowd! What's McCourt got? Bogey! He's got a 9.7 and a pounding headache. But the crowd with a perfect 9.9, .9, the boys concede. It's the winning bogey from the crowd. The real winners of bogeys. Are you horrible lot? Bogey! Richard McCourt and Dominic Wood prepare to play the first bogeys 
of 2004. In his typical mid-70s, it was described by Prince Charles... Richard McCourt, who would be the first to strike. Bogies. Nice start. 0.8. On the left hand side, that put his over 200 years. Concern. Bogies. But he responds 1.3 from Dominic Wood on this cold, crisp winter's morning. Certificates that related to births, marriages, and deaths of England and Wales. 1.3 to beat. As you can see, the athletes are both well wrapped this morning, and it is advisable when out playing bogies under these conditions that one wears the appropriate protective gear. Now selecting a moment and perfectly placing a 2.4 on that Japanese gentleman's head. Wood responds almost immediately with a 3.6 as we go under the bridge and over the 3.5 mark on the snotometer. McCourt, back in, he's still in the game, that's a 4.2. Wood, holding his scarf and his nerve and hitting a 5.1. Pleasing the French visitors enormously. <laughs> so, Hood's up. Wood feeling secure after that last bogey. What has McCord got? Bogies! He's got a 5.5. That's a marvellous bogey. Now, old Father Thames keeps rolling along. Can Dominic Wood regain his preeminent position? Bogies! Surely he's done it. It's a 7.0. That's a Fabulous bogey. And in fact, McCord concedes. Wood claws back. Let's see the winner. Bogies! And the first bogey match of 2004 is claimed by Dominic Wood. Happy New Year. Tower Ridge is falling down, falling down, turning down. Tower Ridge is falling down. I want bogeys.